Did you guys hear me before when I was just now a couple of seconds ago? No, you didn't. So you can hear me now, though? Okay. Well, I guess this is what I'm going to have to do. Uh, so good morning, everyone. And we are just going to type everything. Are you guys are going to type and I'll speak. Even though this is very awkward. It really sucks. No feedback whatsoever. But that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Anyway, how are we doing this week? Um, this meeting I really just wanna make sure, like get us all together, ask you guys how you're doing and make sure we're all on the same page and that we're, we're good to go, we're all on track, all right? Because if adjustments need to be made, we need to know about them. So how are you guys doing? Don't all type at once. Just kidding. Um, please type at once. Go ahead and um, let me know what's going on and how you guys are doing. If there are any questions, please bring them up now because that's really what this meeting is going to be about. And then we'll get into a possible review. Okay, so far so good. All right. Is there is any of the material challenging at all? Do we need any additional resources or help? Is anyone kind of, is everyone understanding the structure of the course and where to get everything and how to make whatever happen, how to turn in assignments and do all of that? Oh, by the way, I can't hear you guys. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know if you guys have been um, saying anything, but I can't hear anything that you guys were saying. And that, that happened in the last Zoom meeting with another course. Um, I don't know why, but I'm gonna figure it out after this. But for some reason, I can't hear you guys unless I plug in this, or I can't hear you guys unless I take out the plug for this big old mic. But if I plug the mic, if I don't have the mic plugged in, then you guys can't hear me. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just keeping the mic plugged in, I'll speak, and then you guys can just type your questions or your responses in the chat box right there. And then I'll just respond to that. That's just how this is going to have to work. I'm really sorry. It's probably less convenient, but um, that's what we're going to have to do for now. And then hopefully next time we do something like this, um, the equipment will be better. So um, as I was saying, how is everything going? Does anyone have any concerns or anything like that? You guys know that we have a quiz that will open today and it is going, it's going to, I'll leave the quiz open and it's going to close Sunday night. All right. Sunday night at midnight is when it's going to be closed. It's going to be gone forever. So you have to take your quiz before then. Okay. It's going to open today after this meeting. So how are we feeling about the material? Anyone, any questions at all? It's all clear? Okay, so we have nothing, nothing to bring up. Any questions about due dates or is everything just really clear and it's all going smooth just like that? After the first week, you guys all got it? I mean, if that's the case, that's cool. Um, yes, that's what we're gonna get to. So 
Okay, so we're on quiz review right now. So I have an idea. I don't know exactly if you guys want to do this, but there's, yes, there is a specific folder for our class. There's a specific playlist. It should just be called medical care organizations. So on the YouTube channel, there is a playlist that is specific for this class. And what I would do is just add the playlist or save it to your YouTube account, however that works. And um, that way, anything that, any kind of videos that have to do with this class that I'll be making are just gonna be put in there. So you will always be able to find them in that particular playlist, okay? So um, about the quiz review, what I was thinking, we have two options here, okay? We can um, do a, a Kahoot uh, quiz all together right now. Okay, where I'll ask questions or I'll, you know, we'll have questions go up and you guys can answer them. And then um, at the end of the Kahoot, it'll, the top five will get extra credit. Okay, actually the winner will get a size, a significant chunk of extra credit points and then it'll just sort of like taper down. But only the top five will earn extra credit. Um, so you guys will just be competing. Um, or we can do something where I give you guys a link to see the, so you guys can take the Kahoot on your own. And then at the end, you guys can just screenshot your, um, just screenshot your score that you did it. And then we'll, um, I'll have a space for you to turn that in in the attendance section on Blackboard. Okay, so that way I will give everyone who takes it a little bit of extra credit points. So those are your two options. Um, whatever you guys wanna do. So we can do a, a quiz review together or we can do it on our own. It's up to you guys. So let me know what you guys wanna do so we can get started on that. Um, so I have your, and I'm having trouble with the Kahoot link onto my account. So you were able to, um, so people also might be having issues with that then. Um, hmm. What does the Kahoot link option two sounds nice? I, everyone seems like they prefer that option. So you guys don't wanna do a Kahoot with me then? You just wanna do it by yourself? Fine. Okay, um, yeah, if that's, if that's what we wanna do, then that's what we'll do. But I would appreciate it if more people told me that's what you guys want to do. There's so many more people here. I want you guys to all have your own say. Um, so for the other class, you're having issues with the Kahoot link. So what was it giving you? Or maybe, okay, can you email me like maybe a screenshot of what it looks like? Because I don't even know what it looks like on your end, so I don't know how to kind of help you with that. Um, that's fine. Yeah, can you just please um, go ahead and email me what, so I can actually know like what is going on, and then maybe I can find another better way to get you guys that, that link if there's a better option. Okay, yeah, that way I know how to help you guys. Um, okay, so it seems like more people are like definitely option two. Um, cool, so we'll do that. All right, so what I wanna do is just take a quick, some attendance and attendance of everyone who is here. So everyone who's here, I'm gonna send you guys a link to your um, CSUSB email, okay? And that link will have the, the Kahoot, okay? The Kahoot quiz, and let's hope that it works. It seems like one person is having trouble with another course uh, with the Kahoot link, so I, I don't know what's going on there, but hopefully we'll be able to figure it out and get that fixed so that you guys can all enjoy the link, you can take it on your own. You have several days to do it. 
Okay, but make sure you screenshot the end of it and turn it in to me so that I can give you extra credit. If you don't screenshot it, I'm not going to give you extra credit. Okay, and that even if you don't get extra credit, you still benefit though, because this is going to help you take your quiz. This is going to help you review for your quiz. The thing is, some of these questions are word for word or they're very similar to what you need to know for your quiz. So you can't lose. Um, also, another thing that I would say is that um, on the YouTube playlist, there are there is a, quiz, a video of an older Kahoot session on that playlist for quiz one. So that would actually help you a lot if you wanted to just watch that and you know get a lot of the information that way. Okay. So that would also be good for you. Um, there will also be. Um, the Kahoot review is the quiz review or oh, for the next quiz review that will there. Yeah, there will, for every single exam that we have, whether it's a midterm, a final exam, a quiz or anything like that, we have a Kahoot review or Kahoot quiz that we will do. Okay. So there's all, there will always be a way for us to review the material be before we actually take the quiz. Okay, so will we get marked down if we don't get a good score? No, you don't get marked down for anything. Um, the Kahoot review is not necessarily for a grade. Okay, that is for your benefit. So if you want to do well in the quiz and you want to take the Kahoot review, which is in a way, it's like a practice quiz. You can think of it like that. Um, and you can take the whole thing on your own and then you can earn extra credit is what I'm saying. Just by doing that, I will give you some extra credit points. So that's the, the worst that can happen is you don't take the Kahoot review. You decide that screw this, I'm not doing it. And then you just, that's it. So you don't review with that and you might not do as well on the actual quiz. Okay but you're not gonna lose any points for not taking it, okay? I highly recommend that you do it because you're going to do better on the quiz if you do. I Like 110% you definitely will. Everyone does, okay? So you should. Um, so, all right then. Well, it looks like a couple more people joined, so I need to take attendance again real quick. All right, so we got the people. Whoever was here today is definitely getting a link in their CSUSB email about this Kahoot review, and that is that's what you're gonna have. Okay, to take it and then turn that in for extra credit. Um, whoever wasn't here is out of luck. You're not gonna get the link. Okay, um, so that's a perk for you know for joining in and being part of the class. Other than that, um, do we have anything else that we want to discuss? Or is anyone having any kind of trouble with the website or the material or anything? Is, if anything's confusing, please let me know so I can help you with that. Well, no one's saying anything. So um, I'm going to assume that means you guys are good. You guys are good to go and you know everything you need to know. And yeah, you're, you're good to go. Your quiz, you're ready to take your quiz. You got your homework ready to do later this week and you're gonna get your Kahoot down, take that, get your extra credit, maybe watch the, oh, when is quiz one due? Good question. Quiz one is due Sunday night at midnight. Okay, that's when it's going to close. So you have several days to go ahead and take it. If you're not ready now, don't take it now, take it in a couple of days. Um, but it will close by Sunday night, so don't not take it. You don't want to be someone who loses 60 points, okay? 
Um, anything else? So, um, I think I answered everyone's question. Okay, well, if that's all we really need, um, I guess we can go ahead and close everything out. We got it. We got this, guys. Um, next um, Zoom meeting will be similar, but we may or may not have it. What I want to do is actually give you guys um, surveys like every few weeks just to check in and see how you're doing. So that way you guys can, I guess, discreetly let me know if anything is wrong, something isn't flowing the way that it should. There's, you know, if there's any kind of something not happening for you guys that's making it difficult or maybe something that I need to do, okay, to help this class. So I'll have regular surveys every few weeks so you guys can let me know what's going on. And if everything's fine, then everything can just go peachy along as it is. But if there are um, any kind of problems or if anyone has any suggestions, that would be great. That way I can address them and maybe we can do, we can adjust things a little bit in the course to make it better for you guys. All right. So the next um, Zoom meeting, I think it's probably scheduled for like two weeks from now on, well, the syllabus would now. Let me look at the syllabus really quick just to check. Um, <clears throat> they may or may not need to happen. Okay, this is, it's supposed to happen on the 30th, so the end of this month. Um, and like I said, they may or may not need to happen. It's just a matter of how you guys are doing in the course and if we have to have it. So for now, let's plan on having that but I might go ahead and cancel it if it seems like everyone's doing just fine and it's actually not necessary, okay? So um, how many questions are on the quiz? There will be 20 questions on the quiz. So each, it's gonna be worth 60 points, 20 questions. Each question is worth three points, okay? It's all gonna be multiple choice, true and false. And don't forget, all right, that at the end of the quiz, um, pay attention to the questions that you got wrong. All right, go ahead and screenshot them or write them down, copy and paste them into a Word document or something. Because those questions, if you choose to, you can do quiz corrections for those particular questions. Okay, so what you're going to do with that is really just re answer the question. Okay, but in a more like a paragraph or like an essay format. Okay, you're gonna take, um, and the thing is, you, I'm giving you the answers. You should be able to see all the answers at the end of the quiz. You should be able to see what you got wrong and what the right answer was. Okay, so whenever you're ready to do your quiz corrections, you know what the right answer is. So that way that can give you some kind of guidance to um, how you're going to formulate your paragraph answer, if you will, or your, your long form answer. Okay. But what you should be doing is maybe getting onto the internet, type in the question, learn, a, sorry, learn a little bit about, uh, that topic and address the question as if you were writing it in more of an essay form. Okay. And that is what you're gonna turn in. If you're gonna do um, quiz corrections, they are not required. This is so that you can get extra credit added to your quiz, added, well actually added to your grade, but you, this is so that you can get those, um, those points back. Now, for each question that you get wrong that you're redoing, um, you're only going to get, you're supposed to only get half credit for those questions. So the max points that you're offered is 1.5 for each question. The thing is, if you, if I do see that you go above and beyond in your, in answering the questions, okay, you're very thorough. 
more than likely I'm going to give you more points. I just do that. I like to recognize hard work and you putting in effort and really learning the material. So when I see that happening, I just, I, I have, it makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. And I go here, here's some more points because that's like the currency in school. So I'm going to give you more. All right. So if you do great, you get more points. If you don't, and if, um, if you just write a one word answer, like you just copy the, um, the answer that I gave you that you found in at the end of the quiz, then you're getting no points. Does that make sense? Absolutely no points for your quiz corrections if you only give me one word answers. Okay, so you have to write me a full answer with support for everything that you say, and then you will get points. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. But so that's what I recommend you do at the end of your quiz, but it, you, it's not required. Okay, this is for extra credit, really. All right. Um, do we have anything else that we want to talk about? Um, it looks like no. Okay, so we wasn't this student's room. All right, so I have attendance of whoever was here in this moment. So you guys should all expect an email about, you know, for the link to the Kahoot. All right, and then of course, turn that in. In the attendance section is where I will put the link for you to turn that in and keep a lookout for the quiz. Don't forget that it does close on Sunday night. So make sure you do your quiz before then. And I suggest never waiting to the last minute because technology sometimes is unpredictable. Okay, so sometimes you have Wi-Fi issues, sometimes you have computer issues. So let's make sure that that doesn't happen. Please do your quiz. I would say make an effort to take it before Saturday just to be safe, okay? But yeah, it's, it will be open until Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. And so will the link to turn in your Kahoot extra credit, okay? So if you guys don't have any questions other than that, I think we're good. We are good to go. So you guys have a great, wonderful day. Okay, bye everybody.